Washington the unshakable voice of moderate conservatism and retired Supreme Court Judge Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to serve in the country's highest court. On Friday, the Supreme Court said in a press release that O'Connor in Phoenix due to complications from advanced dementia and respiratory disease. Chief Judge John Roberts mourned his death. In a statement released by court, Roberts said, Sandra Day O'Connor, the daughter of Southwest America, has made a historic breakthrough as first female judge of our nation. He met this challenge with unbreakable determination, unquestionable talent, and an engaging open-mindedness. In 2018, he announced that he had been diagnosed with the initial stages of dementia, possibly Alzheimer's disease. Her husband, John O'Connor, in 2009 from Alzheimer's complications, O'Connor's 1981 nomination by President Ronald Reagan and subsequent ratification by the Senate ended the men's 191-year prerogative in high court. Growing up on his family's large farm, Arizona native O'Connor spent little time gaining a reputation as a hard-working worker with considerable political influence in nine-member court. O'Connor the grandson of a pioneer who traveled west from Vermont and founded the family farm nearly three decades before Arizona became a state, had an innately determined, independent spirit. As a child growing up in a remote area, he learned from an early age how to ride horses, collect cattle, and drive trucks and tractors. In an interview with Time magazine in 1981, he said, I didn't do everything the kids did but I repaired the windmills and hedges. U.S. Supreme Court Judge Sandra Day O'Connor was shown in Austin, Texas on January 6, 2003, before she swore her duties to members of the Texas Supreme Court. His influence was best seen in abortion decisions, perhaps the most controversial and divisive issue faced by the judges and his legal thinking was most closely examined. O'Connor opposed most of the state's abortion bans, and in 1989, it was the landmark Roe v. of 1973 that said women were entitled to constitutional abortions. Wade refused to join the other four judges, ready to reverse his decision. Later, in 1992, he helped form and manage five-judge majority which reaffirmed the basic foundations of 1973 resolution. O'Connor read in court summary of the decision in Planned Parenthood Casey case. Some of us find abortion as individuals contrary to our most basic moral principles, but cannot control our decision. Our obligation is to define the freedom of all, not to impose our own moral rules. Thirty years after that decision, a more conservative court overturned Roe and Casey, and opinion was Judge Samuel Alito, who took the seat of high court. President George W. O'Connor's retirement in 2006. He took part in the court elected by Bush. In 2000, O'Connor was part of a 5-4 to four majority that effectively resolved the disputed 2000 presidential election in favor of Bush against Democrat.